Cloak and Dagger for the arcades, developed and published by Atari, it was released for the arcades in March of 1984. Designed by Russell Daw as a conversion kit to Robotron, up to two players take control of Agent X and has to recover the stolen plans from Dr. Boom and destroy his underground bomb factory so you can rack up the points. You control Agent X by using this control panel. The left joystick moves the character around in multiple directions, the right joystick can make the character shoot in multiple directions, and the button is for igniting the fuse, which we'll get to later. You can start on the ground floor or on the other floors if you're feeling confident, and as said, you must pursue the evil Dr. Boom in his bomb factory. You start each level by taking the elevator, and you must get to the other side of the room to move on. Along the way, you can shoot the enemies and explosives on the conveyor belts. The green ones are unarmed and can be collected for points, but red are lethal, so stay clear of them. Other items that you can find are these secret maps to help find your way through mine levels, Oh, did I mention some rooms are mine? And these things serve as extra lives or extra bonus points depending on how fast you pick it up. Usually in the middle of the level is a bomb with a fuse which you can light with the button, but be sure you can get out of the room before it explodes. If you get out of one room unscathed, you'll move on to the next with increased difficulty. And depending on if you lit the fuse or not, you'll get some bonus points. But if you get hit by any enemy or caught in an explosion, you'll lose a life. Lose all your lives and the game is over. Overall, this is an interesting arcade game that also got an interesting movie alongside it. That's cool, and so is the movie, kinda. And stop. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, and comment on the video. And if you want to see more quick views, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is Brian the Blue, and I'll see you next time.